Fish is seen as a staple in most households in TNT. With questions now being raised about the quality of local fish, the GML Enterprise Desk took to the seas of the Southwest Peninsula and travelled with fishermen in the Gulf of Pyre to take a closer look at the situation. Fishermen here say they are faced with the fallout of aging petroleum infrastructure and the impact of trawlers. Sea nurseries in the Gulf of Pyre, they say, have felt the direct impact. Trawlers and then when they when when they walk in the Gulf there, a lot of fish in the hole and they don't keep all. They had to dump it. So when when they see that come and rot, it had to float. It have a feel like he want he tally he want the he he, he want the farmer he tally PSL. You understand because he have he have like thousands of pog. So he want to maintain the fish has been poisoned. No, it's not fish are poisoned. They dump it dump in the dump it up in the fish. Right? We have an extent of poison when the rain, when the rain fall with all the rivers from inland coming out to the sea. Whatsoever gets trapped, trapped in, in the sweet water and the little poison, they will die. We know they will die, but that, that happens every, every rainy season. The livelihood of many in this peninsula is based on fishing and coconut industries. Fisher folk here believe the stability of this main income generator is being compromised. Resident and environmentalist Dr. Raphael Sebastian is calling on energy companies operating in the area to come up with a feasible plan to decommission, abandon and derelict wells. What we have seen here is a decaying oil, 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 oil field, a decaying marine field. Lots of wells are already abandoned, lots of wells have fallen to the ground, lots of wells are leaking and the maintenance and the servicing is minimal. In a situation where oil and gas is declining, it means that the service and maintenance is also declining. And it means, therefore, that we were going to see more and more spills as time go by. There are approximately 1,500 wells in this area alone. As we travel along some of the fields ourselves, we could see clearly signs of leakage and evidence of abandonment. Fishermen also tell us that exploration for expanded oil fields is also putting them at risk. Now they say they have no choice to inch closer to the Venezuelan border to fish. First we have to go along the Venezuela and there's more hazard. I risk the with the Wallia um, and all and things. So we really naturally make all the workers all inside here, but through the more, as you see, the leaking wells and all and things, and they're taking up all the space in the area, they're pushing me out of the area. The recent call, they say by a local interest group, urging consumers to stay away from local fish is making things worse. Join us tomorrow as local fishermen show us what they believe might be the cause of fish washing up along the southeastern coast. Otto Carrington, GML Enterprises for CNC3 News, Cedrus.